I'm Jenna Eschkowitz. And I'm Kevin McHale from Glee. And you're watching TV.com. Freak out! Freak out! The Freak says chic. And up and Have out and down and good. About the new good, dance good race. Listen to us. I'm sure you'll be amazed. Kevin, when you received the script, what did you think? Oh, I, I instantly knew it was special. It was something different. It was hilarious. I hardly ever laugh out loud when I read scripts, and I was dying laughing. And it was the kind of thing that is the kind of comedy that actually goes on in high school. It's what we're all saying. It's what I was saying. It's what I would want to watch anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's cool, because people, young people, old and young, whatever, can relate to it. Because it's new, it's fresh, and it's something for everybody in every single episode. Yeah, and your ca character is quite comical, wheelchair yes, bound, yes, yes. but still wants to get his groove on. Yes, Can you yes. tell us a little bit about him? Um, well, you said it better than I could. Um, yeah, he definitely thinks he's cooler than he probably really is, but he doesn't care. Um, big old nerd, probably the biggest geek out of everybody. Wears suspenders and a belt at the same time. Um, but you know, he's in Glee Club like everybody else because he's passionate about singing, and that's what it's all about. Doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He's gonna do it anyway. I have another idea for the assembly. Can I once again stress my most strenuous objections to this attempted suicide? They're not going to kill us. N now, your background, actually, you were in a boy band I was, yes. years ago. Yeah. So how do you feel singing and, and dancing again? Uh, well, I don't really get to dance like I did in the boy band. But, you know, I'm just in awe that I get to do a job that I can act and sing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a dream every single day. Yeah, and Jenna, can you tell us a bit about your character? Sure. Uh, Tina is the gothic punk rocker. She's um, she's got a stutter, and um, she's really shy and quiet. And um, you know, sh you see her smile and dancing and singing because that's what she really loves to do. So um, Tina is definitely um, very different from like you know Rachel Berry, but I think they all kind of bond together to um, you know kind of be this force. Um, yeah. Now, speaking of the stutter, how hard was it for you to master that? Um, it, at first it was really hard, but now I kind of find myself like stuttering in real life by accident <laughs> and it just, it just kind of comes, it like rolls off the lips. <laughs> I was sharp. I can't do this. Hey, look at me. Have you noticed the more confident you are, the less you stutter? <laughs> So if, you know, at the Grammys or the Emmys next year, the Glee Club are asked to perform live, what, what, what do you think would happen in that case? I think we would love to. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That would be insane. To I mean, just the thought of, like, singing anywhere, like, even the VMAs, like, you know, yeah. just, like, smaller word shows, which aren't smaller, but, you know, um, hipper or cooler. Um, I think that we would you know, be honored to be even yeah. asked to do something like that. I mean, this is what we love to do. We all love to sing, we all love to act, we all love to perform, and it's amazing that maybe we could even be considered for something like that. Yeah. With the Glee Club so far, what's been the, the best song for each of you to perform? Um, probably performance wise, I Push It I was, was probably um, the funnest thing because we got to do it in front of a crew and extras, like 400 extras that had no idea what we were about to do, just like in the real scene. Mm. And I mean, the performance itself is a little risque. Crazy. <laughs> and crazy and nuts and we absolutely love doing it because to see the shock on everybody's faces was priceless now wait a minute y'all now this dance ain't for everybody only the sexy people <laughs> so all you fly mothers get on out there and dance dance i said I think a, lo a little bit more of a heartfelt number, yeah. <laughs> if I may say, um, is uh, Somebody to Love by Queen, our rendition of that. Um, we got to do that in episode five. And then also at the Upfronts in New York, um, when we went, we also got to perform that live on the stage in the city center. And that was just, I think it kind of like sealed the deal for us. It bonded us and we just love that song. <laughs> Thank you.